Floor seats for the next. Couple models blowing hits. They don't even wanna pay. Hi guys, in this video I will show 5 easy effects that you can make in After Effects. This tutorial is for beginners and please also check this video's description to download project files so you can practice later. I have also a little gift for you, download the project, you will be satisfied I promise. And now let's begin with first effect, car glitchify effect. Duplicate your video, then right click and pre-compose it. Make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration are selected and then rename it to car only and hit OK. Grab a roto brush tool now and double click on car only layer. Roto brush the car as smooth as possible. Once you are happy with it, click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to composition. Now duplicate car only layer and rename bottom one to glitchify. Add glitchify plugin on that layer. Expand color glitch and toggle it off. Expand image glitch and toggle it off as well. Expand channel glitch, channel split and channel scale. Toggle on vertical and set offset and speed to zero. Set horizontal amount to zero as well. Now play around with scale to control glitchify effect. In my case 70 looks enough, now let's animate it. Make sure you are at the very beginning of your clip and set glitchify amount to zero and click on stopwatch icon. Now scroll forward a bit and set amount to around 50. Scroll to the end now and set amount to zero. Press U on your keyboard to open created keyframes. Now select all keyframes and hit F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor and copy my curve. First effect is ready, let's jump to another, floating mini cars effect. Right click on your video and pre-compose it, rename it whatever you want and hit OK. Now go to tracker and click on track camera. As the analyzing is done, select some points on a car, right click and select, create null and camera. Move track null and 3D tracker above your clip. Cut track null layer to match it your clip's length. Now go to layer, new and click on solid, rename it to particles and hit OK. Move particles layer above track null and cut it as well. Add CC particle world effect on particles layer. Expand grid and guides and toggle off everything you see. Now first we need our car's still image. Scroll your video and find any moment from it. For example I like this part from my video and I will use it as an image. Duplicate your clip now. Right click on it. Go to time and select, freeze frame. Delete 3D camera tracker on it and then rename it to mini cars. Move mini cars layer below particles and then cut that layer as well. Now make sure to toggle of mini cars layer and select particles layer. Expand particles now and change particle type to textured quad polygon. Expand texture now and change texture layer to mini cars layer. Now we have that mini cars effect in our video, let's adjust particles effect a bit now. Change birth rate to around 0.8. We will come back to it a bit later again. Expand physics and change gravity to zero. Now expand producer and increase radius X, Y and Z until they cover the video. Now increase birth rate until you are happy with it. We have to fix this issue here now, I want it to be only a car and not the full image like in the video. Select mini cars layer and toggle it on. Solo that layer and then grab a pen tool. Mask out the car as smooth as possible. Once you are done, unsolo mini cars and toggle it off. If you play back the video and issue is not fixed, simply pre-compose mini cars layer and it will be fixed. Now select particles layer again and play around with the settings. Play around with birth and death size until you are satisfied. Set max opacity to 100%. Then go to producer and change radius X, Y and Z on your wish and change birth rate until it will look cool. And once you are happy with it, enable motion blur on particles layer and then let's jump to another effect. Easy mask zoom effect. Duplicate your video and make sure you are at the very beginning of it then right click on it and pre-compose it. Rename it to freeze and hit OK. Right click on freeze layer, go to time and select, freeze frame. Scroll backward a bit and move freeze layer there. Cut it where the actual video starts from. Now let's grab a pen tool and mask out the car as smooth as possible. Now scroll to the end of freeze layer and press S on your keyboard to open scale. Click on scale stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Now scroll to very beginning of that layer and change scale to 0%. 
Select both keyframes now and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Go to Graph Editor now, right click here and select, Edit Speed Graph, make a smooth curve like mine. Lastly enable Motion Blur on Freeze Layer and we can jump to another effect. We'll zoom transition. Duplicate your clip and pre-compose it, rename it to Freeze and hit OK. Right click again, go to Time and select, Freeze Frame. Scroll backward a bit and move Freeze Layer there. Cut it where the actual video starts. We need to mask out the wheel now, you can use Ellipse Tool but, for a smooth mask I will use Mocha AE. In Mocha grab an Ellipse Tool and mask the wheel as perfect as possible. Once you are satisfied, click on Save button and close Mocha AE. Now expand Matte and click on Create AE Masks. Double click on Anchor Point Tool now and move Anchor Point to the very center of the wheel. Now scroll to very end of freeze layer and press S on your keyboard. Click on scale stopwatch icon. Press R and click on rotation stopwatch icon. Press U now to open scale and rotation keyframes. Now scroll to very beginning of freeze layer and change scale to 0%. Scroll a few frames forward now and set scale to around 150. Now scroll to very beginning again and create a keyframe for rotation. Then scroll forward and add rotation a bit. Select all keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard. Go to Graph Editor now and select Scale Keyframes and make a smooth curve like mine. Now select Rotation and make the same curve. Enable Motion Blur on Freeze Layer and let's check the effect. I don't like the rotation, I will add more of it. Let's scroll to middle rotation keyframe and add rotation. Now that looks better and we can jump to the last effect. Duplicated wheels effect. Duplicate your video and pre-compose it. Rename it to wheel and hit OK. Now we need to mask out the wheel as smooth as possible, I will use Mocha AE again. In Mocha grab an ellipse tool and mask the wheel. Once you are happy, enable Perspective and hit Tracking button. As the tracking is done, click on Save button and close Mocha AE. Expand Matte now and select Apply Matte. Double click on Anchor Point tool now and move Anchor Point to the very center of the wheel. Press S on your keyboard now and change Scale to 0%. Click on Scale Stopwatch icon, then scroll to very end of wheel layer and set Scale to 100%. Duplicate wheel layer now, press U to open keyframes and move first keyframe forward a bit. Duplicate again and move the keyframe forward. Do the same steps until you are happy with it. Now select all wheel layers and enable motion blur on them. This was 5 easy car effects that you can make in After Effects. I will leave this project's link in description and also a little gift for you. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.